Hey planner friends, it's Ashley. Today we are doing a plan as I go video. Now I recently uploaded a video on how I manage eight planners and that was giving you an overlook of my entire planning system from my morning routine, kind of what I do throughout the day and then my evening routine. This one's a little bit different. This one I'm taking you through the planners that I use the most during the day. So we are not taking a look at like my faith planner that I get into either in the morning or in the evening, usually in the morning, but sometimes I do that in the evening. Um, we're not looking at my memory keeping planner and kind of, I don't know, my accessory planners. I don't know that's probably a terrible way of putting it, but we are looking at my main planners. And here, this is the morning. The first thing that I'm doing is I'm going in with red ink, which I've talked about. I encourage you to try this. I'm going in with red ink from the day before to write down what actually happened so I can start to see where I'm falling off track. And this has been incredibly helpful. And then what I'm going to do is go in and I'm going to plan out my day inside of my hourly planner. Now this planner here, this is a lined vertical happy planner. This one is my catch all. I literally can put anything and everything inside of this planner. This planner here is a dashboard happy planner and this one is my social media planner. And the way that these two planners work with my hourly planner is I will take the things that I need to do from both of these planners and I will actually schedule them in, in my hourly planner. So I'm making the time for those activities and I usually categorize things. So I will have a category for business and this is where my social media stuff comes into play. I will have a category for like my son's homework because that takes up a big chunk of our time during the day. One for me studying that takes up another big chunk of the time. And then usually I have a couple of blocks and by blocks I mean I'm block scheduling my day in my hourly planner but usually I will have a few blocks that are like catch up time or this is the time that I'm going to work out and shower and eat or clean up or whatever. Um, I have my evening routine and my morning routine. So that's what I'm doing here is just taking these planners and I am using them to help me schedule out and plan my day. You and me stuck on the ocean now Nothing but waves in this villain in I want to dry up but you Just keep on going, don't you? I don't even know how we got here All my reasoning have disappeared I want to bury the hatchet And find the way back to our home Our home, our home We don't have to drift inside this dome I will not let us fade away It's not a price I wanna pay And it's not too late No, we lost our purpose Chasing all that surplus You were all that I need I feel that we Here I'm hopping into my social media planner and I seen that I needed to export a video and upload it onto YouTube. So I was getting that um, exported and uploaded and I was letting it upload to YouTube while I was doing a workout. And sometimes I do things like this, like yes, I have a, a time allotted later to work on my business, to work on YouTube videos and those kind of things, but it's smarter for me to let that video upload while I'm doing a workout. So later on, whenever I'm in that block, I don't have to wait for that video to upload. I can start um, editing the title and making the thumbnail and actually getting it posted. So here you can see I'm showing you what video I'm working on and it's a social media video. I'm going to get it uploaded and posted for the, for the day um, while I do my workout. I tried to make this a little bit fun and show you guys kind of little bits and pieces of my day. And this here is where I'm getting my pre-workout ready to go. Listen, if you are someone who 
um, is like, you know, I do not have the energy to work out. I am exhausted. I am tired. If you always say that you're not motivated, which that's a topic for another day, but um, I highly recommend getting a pre-workout formula. I personally love this one because it doesn't make my heart jittery. It doesn't make me feel like what I like to say is a rat on acid <laughs> where I'm running around like crazy. So I love this pre-workout, but if you are ever feeling exhausted and like you can't do your workout, definitely get yourself a pre-workout formula that does not make you go bananas. And this one I love too because it tastes really, really good. All right, my workout is complete. So that means it's time to hop inside of my fitness planner and take note that I've completed that workout. And you'll also see me reviewing the meal plan for the day so I know what it is that I'm going to be eating and if I need to make adjustments or anything like that. But I hop inside of this planner all throughout the day at random times. Every time I eat, every time I do a workout, anything that I wanna track, I just hop into this planner. And this one actually stays, usually stays in the kitchen um, all day long. All right, it is a little bit later and what I am doing now is hopping into my hourly planner. I'm gonna pull this sheet out. There are a couple of blocks that I ended up switching around. We ended up doing my son's homework earlier, so I swapped those blocks with my study block and you guys will see me do that. And again, I'm using the red pen to note that I made changes after I had already planned my day, which this is not a bad change. I'm still keeping those blocks, I'm not changing that but I am just swip, swip swapping, <laughs> uh, swapping them around uh, to make it work a little bit better for what we have going on during the day. And then I also checked off that I did my morning routine and um, just kind of looking at the rest of the day and what I had planned. And I also wrote in there that at 11 a.m. is whenever I cleaned the kitchen because that it did take quite a bit of time. It needed to be cleaned, our kitchen had kind of become a little bit of a disaster. So I did note that I did that at 11, technically wasn't scheduled in. And here I'm just showing you that I swapped those two blocks around. And we are back in my fitness planner. I'm updating what I had for breakfast. I also use portion control containers. So I was writing out if I had a serving of carbs and a serving of vegetables and a serving of protein and I was just keeping track of that as well. So in the top is where I wrote out my breakfast and right there is where I was writing out which containers that was equivalent to. And here I am back inside of my fitness planner again. I told you all you're going to see this one quite a bit throughout the day. Now I am updating what I had for lunch and keeping track of that. I'm currently in my study block that I switched with my son for doing his homework and I just wanted to show you guys this fun little clip of me writing out some notes. I don't know why but watching someone else write notes is a very satisfying thing. Actually a lot of times I will pull up study with me videos while I'm studying and it just, I don't know, it just inspires me to work hard and to study and to do it especially whenever I'm making excuses and I'm like oh but I gotta do this and I gotta do that when really no I need to sit my butt down and study so this is just a random little clip of of me writing out some notes now I am headed into my office to get my planner like I said earlier it normally doesn't stay here it is usually in the kitchen and I was just showing you that sometimes I have to go track a planner down it just depends on where it's at but I got my fitness planner I'm sitting down to have another meal and I wanted to track what I was eating um, right before I ate it because then we're moving into another block as far as um, how I've actually scheduled out my day. All right, now I am hopping back into my hourly planner. I'm gonna note um, that I ate lunch in between two blocks, which is totally fine, but I did note that I checked off that we had completed my son's homework, so that block was finished. And then you will see me dive into my social media planner and I'm just looking at the different things that I need to complete for the day. It 
if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen this video, but one of the things that I needed to do this today was to put the vinyl stickers on my water bottle. Finally, I know I'm like really behind on this one, but I finally did it. So after that, I announced the giveaway for one of my winners over on Instagram and she had messaged me back with her address and stuff. So now it was time for me to mail that giveaway, get the labels printed and stuff and get all of that packaged up. So that's what I was working on here was getting getting the shipping labels all ready to go. And here I'm just checking off some of the things that we've completed. I'm also updating my social media planner and I'm looking at the next block that I've already scheduled out for the day and I know that this is my catch up block. So if there's anything that I'm behind on or anything that I need to get caught up on, I can do that here or I can just hang out. It is 5.30 and I am officially done for the day. You guys, I cannot tell you how amazing this feels. This is why I promote block scheduling so stinking much because not only when I do it, but when I follow the system, I, I actually have time to get things done. Like I'm actually checking things off my list and completing tasks. Now I could spend the, re the next couple of hours in my catch up block. And that's kind of like a, a block that I have set to where if I do get extremely behind in the day, I have a little bit of wiggle room. Now I am about 30 minutes behind, but I'm not worried about those 30 minutes. Normally I would be done at five, but it's 5.30. That's not a big deal to me, but I could spend that catch up block doing things to prepare for tomorrow, but I don't want to. And that's the beauty of this is now I have the next couple of hours to do whatever Ashley wants to. I'm actually gonna go help my son get his room cleaned up. I'm going to declutter some things, listen to some music, maybe have a dance party. Those are always happening in my house. But because of this block scheduling system, I'm not only getting things done, but I feel so much lighter. Like, you know that weight of things just constantly piling up, you're constantly behind, you're trying to figure out where or how you're gonna get everything done. When you do this and actually try your best to stick to it, I don't mean make the cute fancy plans and then not follow them, but I mean when you try your best to stick to it, that's when your productivity is going to increase. That's when you're going to get, start getting things done. That's whenever you're gonna start finding more time to do the things that you actually wanna do and not the things that you need to get done. So I just wanted to share that with you. I'm going to take the next couple of hours to help my son clean, declutter, hang out, dance it out, and I will catch up with you this evening whenever I hop back into my planners to prep them for tomorrow. All right, it is officially evening time and I did get my son's room cleaned up. We did have a dance party. Those are always fun and I highly recommend those. I actually kind of recommend dance parties more than I do block scheduling. And if you didn't notice, I really promote block scheduling. Um, it truly is something that has changed my life. And I know that if you implement it and you do your best to stick to the schedule that you've created, listen, life isn't perfect, things happened. Sometimes we create all these fancy plans and we, we use the stickers and we put all this effort into planning out our week and things get side railed and that's totally okay. Um, but when you try your best and stick to this, I'm telling you it's a game changer. And here you can just see I am updating my fitness planner from today. And now I'm going to update my habit trackers. Listen, if you're not using a habit tracker, I highly recommend that you start doing that too. This is better than checking off a to-do list box. You know how good we feel whenever we've checked off a bunch of things for the day? Whenever you see that the habits you're trying to build to help you move closer to your goals are getting checked off, that's a better feeling. So I love my habit trackers. The one that I found, um, or the one that I have, I found on Etsy and I will link it down below if you guys wanna check it out. Okay, now we are gonna dive into kind of my main hub. This has all of my planners, not all of them. It has my hourly, my catch-all, my social media planner inside of this deluxe cover, but we're diving in here. We're updating the day, um, checking off anything that needs to be checked off. This is also the time whenever I start to write down things that I need to maybe complete for the next day or over the next couple of days. If I've thought of anything, I will update that as well.
Now listen, I know I have sped this video up and it's hard to see what I'm writing and those kind of things, but that wasn't the purpose of this video. This video is a plan as I go to show you how many times I'm getting into my planners throughout the day, how I'm using my planners, um, how many times I'm hopping back and forth and all over the place with them, which is okay. If you feel like you're all over the place in your planner, sometimes that's a good thing because we're actually checking all of the plans that we're making, right? We're not just making these plans and then not looking at our planner. So um, this is just a plan as I go video. Here I'm just finishing updating my catch-all planner. Now I'm hopping into my social media planner and I'm going to update it and plan for the rest of the week. And that, my friends, is a plan as I go video. This is just how I use my planners throughout the entire day. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, leave me a comment. I think what I'm going to start doing is at the end of every video, I'm going to give you guys a code word. And if you stay till the end and you hear the code word, I want you to comment with it. Today's code word is going to be, um, what should we make it? I'm looking around my office right now. I have a really cute Ray Dunn mug that says hot mess. So that's going to be our code word. Code word is hot mess. If you've watched this far, comment down below with the word hot mess. I don't know why. It's just fun. Nobody else knows because most people don't watch till the end of a video. But you, my friend, have. And I appreciate you for that. And I want to recognize you for supporting me. So thank you for that. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Have an incredible day, my friend. And I will see you in the next video.